In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can generate first draft blog posts in the quickest and most painless way using the bulk publishing system. First, we're going to start by grabbing some random keywords from Google search. Now we're going to paste these keywords. I'm just going to quickly clean these up. This probably isn't important because you can turn keywords into slugs in WP All Import, but I like to have them in case I want to make internal links within the sheet. The next thing I'm going to do is get some additional keywords so I can give the prompt data cell some more context. Now, usually your additional keywords are semantically related and they are data driven, but in this case, I'm just going to get GPT to help me fill in the blanks. Now I'm gonna use the sheet to generate some hopefully catchy and CTR friendly titles. I'm gonna do the same to generate some meta descriptions. I'm gonna get it to grab from the title this time. And now I'm gonna generate my blog post outline. So. I've made two prompt data cells for different reasons. I've combined the blog title, blog keywords, and meta description, because I'm gonna use this to generate the outline. As you can see in the second prompt data cell, we have the same information in the first one. So the blog title, the keywords, the meta description, but now we also have the outline. And this is what we're gonna to use to generate our introductions and our first drafts. Now I'm actually gonna save these values as text so I can go in and edit anything I don't like before I generate my article. Now these are fixed values and I can edit them. So I'm going to take this away. See if there's anything else. Looks fine. And now I'm going to generate the first draft and I'm going to use the new ChatGPT Turbo 3.5 model to do that. And that's it, full first draft blog post. Of course, this is a very, 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 very basic, basic way of doing this. And when you start to combine data scraping and research and formatting and editing, you can really craft some high quality blog posts. In my Topical Authority Accelerator course, I go through my five step process of how to take this system and maximize its capabilities, creating high quality competitive websites while taking the topical dominant approach. This is something that can be applied to any niche and if you want your content to stand out among the sea of people creating all of this low quality AI content, it's very easy to do now. You definitely want to find out what I'm doing on my sites that makes them stand out. And that's exactly what I share in the TAA course. Of course, the link is in the description. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to drop a like and comment. Peace.